Uh, koalas are here again. They were here in 2016. They were an absolute hit at that time. And uh, looking at things to do for visitors this year, we decided to bring koalas back. So we got in the queue with the San Diego Zoo. Uh, got two little, two little guys here. Thackeray is nine years old and Chuckles is six. And they're gonna spend their summertime here at the zoo. People come out and they think they might be together. They're so cute and cuddly. The little males, they're both little males and they can be a little aggressive to each other uh, in captivity and in the wild. So we've got them separated. We've got two exhibit areas uh, in the same building. So you'll, you'll be able to see them. Uh, one of them we hope, uh, you know, I brought a, a little stuffed animal sort of as a joke because sometimes this is about all you see them do is is just sit sit in the branches uh, they rest a lot they can sleep up to 20 hours a day so seeing them move is really a hit uh, they eat only eucalyptus and this is a sample of one we have this shipped in from florida twice a week it, it comes in by air freight and uh, it's always got to be fresh that it's clipped uh, one night they spray it down wrap it in plastic uh, put it on an airplane it comes up to kansas city always fresh, we get seven to 10 different kinds. These little guys are extremely finicky eaters uh, that we may offer two or three kinds at one time. They may touch one, they may touch them all. There may be days that they just don't wanna eat any of them and then we gotta try again. They're gonna be here from today through the end of November. So we, we extended the season on them. They'll, uh, they'll be on exhibit. We were able this year to negotiate, to be able to put them outside they won't be outside together, but on a day that it's not too hot, too humid, between 60 and 80 degrees, we'll be able to put one of them outdoors uh, for the first time here. So that, that should be fun. We try to do something new and different every year and, and uh, have new animals or new exhibits. Last year we did our elephant exhibit. So that was just uh, when we were kind of looking around, the elephant exhibit was really expensive. Uh, in remodeling that, doing the koalas is a little less expensive and being with our modified season last year, this year we're hoping to have good crowds but we, are, we have uh, attendance restrictions, we can only have 5,000 in the zoo on each day so uh, our numbers will be down and this was a little more economical way to bring something new to Kansas City. I think we all know that we want to be out of this. Uh, but, but in a safe way. And the zoo has been a place where people could go all through the pandemic. We were only closed for two months to come out and with the vastness of our grounds uh, and, and just the spacing that you're able to do here, we, we were able to bring a, a really good, I think, experience to people through really tough times.